Hi, and welcome to another session of How To's. Today we're going to take a look at how the inventory in a register system is connected to your register. The first and probably the most important thing is as you turn on your registers in the morning is to go out and make sure your inventory is on on and not off and I, in my case, I recommend signing up immediately. Why immediate? Well, the reason is, is that as I take down the particular quantities in my register system, it will lower the quantity in inventory immediately. Case in point, if I have 10 items and I went down by two, because I selected two as my quantity, when I went back and looked at those items, I would see an eight immediately. Even if the sale's not done, people would then know that there's eight on the floor. When selecting products that you put in, there's many different ways of pricing. Pricing is all done in inventory, not inside sales. Sales just looks at the pricing and selects it for the customer. If the barcode is being used, it would read the barcode and would automatically go jump into the next uh, column. In this particular column is description. Why does it have a lookup? Why is it blue? Is because I can add on to this if I want. So in this particular case, if we want to add color to it, we could as they buy the product. Here's where the quantity comes in. Notice the quantity here is ready for me to put in a different quantity and come across with the price. In this column, notice that the price actually has a little drop down arrow to it. The drop down arrow shows the different level pricings that you could have. In this particular case, the level pricing could be set up that these here are set up for a distributor, a wholesaler, an employee for their employee sales, and each one has different five year, two years, uh, one year, etc. And of course, the regular price of the customer that comes in off the street. Again, all the pricing is done in inventory, not here. It just shows it. Now, can I change the pricing? Yes, if your security allows you to do this, you can change the price and make it correct to whatever you want. So in this particular case, you can see the regular price because they have a column here, 222, but you're giving it to them for $200. I can even have that so it shows up on the receipt if I wanted to. Another example of this, here's an extended description. Another example of this that we will use is we will use just slightly different where I again I have the description I can change here and now this time instead of the price having a little drop down the quantity has so now why because back in inventory I've priced this particular product to have different limits going down so if they buy 10 or more they save two dollars and forty cents if they buy 50 or more, they're uh, saving about $7.40. As I put in then the price, then the price again can be changed by me if you desire that. Otherwise, it extends right out. Again, this one also has an extension, which you'll find in inventory. Inventory is really where you make most of these changes. It just shows up on the screen for the clerk. And the customer's receipt. That concludes the how-to of how the inventory is working with POS. If you have any other questions, feel free to call our customer service department at 800-388-3038 and they'll be glad to assist you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.